the truth. Olympics, you obviously played with Robertson a lot of years in OKC. Just how tough has it been to watch those two uh, season-ending injuries the last couple of days? Uh, that's sickening, man. It's sickening. Uh, just seeing Dre's in the locker room. Somebody I spent so much time with, got to know, somebody I call family. Um, it's, it's tough to see because you work so hard. He had a couple nagging injuries that he continues to put, he push through and he keeps keeps getting better as a player and getting more confident and to get knocked down again, it's tough to see. But I know his heart, I know his, his strength and I know he's going to continue to just keep uh, keep fighting him. You know, get better as, as quickly as possible. And I know he got such a huge support system with his family there um, around him. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing him back on the court again. My prayers are up to, uh, for Dre and uh, Cuz, just being around him for for the Olympics and seeing what type of person he is and his character and um, seeing how hard he works. You know, we all love the game of basketball. It's not life or death, but it's something that we love. And to be for have, to have it taken away from you um, unexpectedly. Is it's tough. I've been there before. A lot of players have been there before. So just praying that his mind stays uh, stays right and he continues to make sure his body is right. And um, I have no doubts that those two will be back and playing uh, playing soon, hopefully. 49 for Steph, I think 37 for Kyrie. What would you like about just that, that point guard shoot after me? Man, you just got to sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once they got it going, you got to get out the way, man. And, uh, you could tell both teams kind of, kind of, kind of felt that you know midway through the first, you know Kyrie got it going, got it cooking early, and then Steph, you know, you could tell it was kind of back and forth, but it wasn't, it wasn't one of those back and forths where they kind of just hijacked that game and just played one on one. It was just like well, all within the flow. We were trying to look for Steph all game, and they were looking for Kyrie, and they came to play. That's what that's what high level basketball players do when you see a matchup. Um, that you know is gonna bring the best out of you. You come out, you come out there with your best, and those two guys uh, showed a lot tonight. Oh, oh, oh.